Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Seth King and welcome to this second episode of my power plant build. Um, I wanted to share with you my progress and the things that I that I did since last time. Um, in the last video I show you like the the layout for the plant and now I put together a little bit of a checklist uh, to, to just have a better idea of like uh, what is done, what needs to be done. I already set up the, um, the old treatment section and today I want to show you um, how, I, how I did it and we are going to put together the, the other refinery section on that side that is going to take care of like uh, uh, getting the, the pack water and transforming it into uh, into package field. Okay, uh, first I'm going to show you that it's where I'm getting all my uh, there is where I'm getting all my oil. I chose that node because it's the one that it's closest to this, and it was like the easiest one to transport. Uh, for the pipe, I did it like all underwater. I don't know, I think it was like a cleaner way to make these and and also like it's actually like the way that uh, they transport oil in the sea sometimes. Uh, I hope there is no leaks or anything because otherwise we're going to have a big spill there. Um, this is just like a little tunnel that I used to put my my oil there. I painted the pipes for them to make a little bit more sense. And this is like uh, my extractor. I like to decorate my extractors a little bit for them to, I don't know, not just be a machine with a pipe. Voila. This is going to be our clock to 217 square meters. Per minute and that's where the pipes goes into the ocean okay so this is where I have the the refineries that take care of the of the crude oil and make it into heavy oil residue and I have a, a sink to take care of the of the byproduct the polymer that I'm not going to be using here so I rather think in that think about like something to do with it. As you can see, everything goes down here, and also on the other side, everything comes up. That's because I like to keep my floor plant as clean as possible when I'm making these things. The end of this is like a, a curve. Kind of don't like much this sea fighting here, but I think that um, I'm going to once I figure out what I what kind of foundation I'm going to use it. I can maybe use the um, the asphalt one. They look a little bit better, less artifact. Um, for the for this little like kind of curve. I follow the DC1 and tutorial on how to make uh, like uh, core foundations, like using the pathwalk and uh, the catwalk and and foundations. It's super easy to do. I recommend to to watch that tutorial. I will put it in the description. And I like to have my logistics in a separate uh, level, so I can make everything look cleaner and more tidy in the top and also I can run things under the machines Let me go to the end of this this is where my crew oil comes from the ocean goes and distributes into all the machines I will have a a path walk here in the future this is all the uh, all the polymer is going down here and the fuel is going to the outside 
I'm producing 360 of you here, so that's why I need the Mark II pipes. And I'm gathering all the polymer, see, under the, the machines, into the sink. I also use this level to um, take care of the electricity. This is also connecting with the machine. If you see, I have three things connected, like the line that goes in, the line that goes out, and the machine. I do this connection like from down, from down here, so everything looks super clean up here and I don't need to have wires hanging out anywhere. The connection is just going like clipping through the machine. You can see down here. It's not this is not going to be a part that I will work on. Like the idea is to have a, a catwalk here. So I won't even like see this uh, little clipping. Um, and we are going to uh, put together like the same setup, but instead of um, just taking crude oil, it's going to take the water bottles and it's going to take the heavy oil residue to make the package fuel. And that's going to be on that side of the setup. And if you want to see a little bit about like the rest of the plants, um, you can check my, my previous video. The, here on this side we're going to have 9 refineries no, sorry, 12 refineries so 12 so I need, oh I need more stuff I hope I have enough stuff here I don't want to have to go to the to the storage place again so far away, hate it Okay, fuck me. Okay, I just fell in the water and second time I did the same thing back there and I wanted to show you a little trick in case you have your storage full, your inventory full and you also have a lot of storage there. You can also like mass delete to another thing that it's outside of the water and the last thing you selected it's going to be where the where the box with the extra stuff appears so then you can go you can throw out some stuff just to make room for, for what you need to build up the, the explorer Voila. and then you, you just wrap back your things Put some things back here, so I have enough room for this. Oh, I forgot the fuel. There. And then I can continue my trip. Okay, so we are building on that side, uh, but this is safe to cross because it's just like a really... Um, flat so we can cross here no problem and we can I built a little bridge here because for this one yes we we can't cross safely and finally oh, that was like a really long way because I also have some things to solve in my storage um, I had some trucks that were stuck so I had to figure that out too. Yeah, that was way too much work. Jetpack because here I don't have electricity yet. And okay. let's sort this out. Get this back. Get this. And remove this. Great. Now I have everything I need to start building the other refinery setup. It's lost like an hour, yeah. On the good side, um, I just went over a hundred hours in this save. I don't think I ever 
I don't think I've ever played this long in a in a save before. Okay, so before we start like putting the refineries, I just want to make this like little semicircle thing um, for the end of uh, for the end of these buildings. My plan is to have like kind of like a not fully circular but kind of like uh, kind of like circular wall here. So I'm going to to make this little semicircle. Okay, so I have this um, this little curve already, and now I will do like the um, logistic floor. So I have everything ready downstairs for the logistics. What I'm doing is like just leaving one of these. Okay, this is going to be easier. Okay, I'm using a uh, 4 meter foundation and then a uh, 1 meter one. There's plenty of room to, uh, to make everything down here. It's going to give us enough room to, um, to have the, um, the pipes and all the um, yeah, all the belts and the rest of the logistic really easily. This height is a little bit better than just having like one one wall that it's actually usually three meters high. Okay, great. Now that we have this done we can start setting up the um, the refineries it is like to have this side for the inputs the middle and that side for the outputs I want to align this here. It's going to give us enough room to to bring the materials on this side and take out the materials on this side and leave us a little bit of room for for that catwalk or whatever we want and have enough room on both sides. Now I want to leave um, half a foundation of separation between each one. Here, here. Not going to make much of a difference. But I think that it makes like um, like in regards to the logistics because I'm not using the middle. But I think that it just makes like for a more clean build. And it's not like I'm super constrained constrained in space. Also using the separation helps with the with calculating foundation size and everything because that way you know that it's like three foundations every two refineries. I think I put one extra. <laughs> I think I put one extra. It's too distracted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
for the holes. I'm going to put them right in front, two spaces, and using the the noodle build comes quite clean and it's the one that allows us to do this in like the least amount of space. For the outputs it's the same story. Okay, so every output is connected out here. Now let's do the same but for the other side. So it's not here, it's here. Well, it's not that either. And it's here. Yes, exactly. That way you don't need to use... Um, if you put it this close enough, you don't need to don't need to use a conveyor belt or anything to, to connect them. Right, so now that we have everything connected here, let's do the same thing, but uh, downstairs. You know that um, the plan is to bring some heavy, um, heavy residual from from there to this side. So I'm going to probably run the pipe right under here. No, I can't because of this. So, so the pipe is going to run here on this side of the foundation. Then I'm going to show you. Here. Here. Put together a pipe. What we are going to, to do is right here we're going to put this and put, put a pipe here. And for this we are going to use the middle of the building. This is why I like to do this because I can take advantage of all this space that's usually under the like it's usually like the building space so we can do much. On this side I can take care of this, make everything clean. That way we can have a a line of splitters here and do the same on this side with a line of mergers here. So on this side of the of the logistics uh, floor we have all the things that go in here, all the things that go out. They go back into the middle. In the packaging facility to be transported to the other side. So see you in a second uh, after I have everything connected uh, and everything back into the middle. Okay, so I finish setting everything up down here. I'm using uh, Mark 5 belts and because uh, I already have a website production running and, and this is going to be inputting 720 of water per minute and outputting 720 of fuel per minute so but if you don't have a uh, mark 5 you can still use like um, 3 mark 3 or 2 mark 4 and it's going to be okay like you just need to be a little bit more careful with the way that you set up thi things down here and especially like um, leave enough room for like the other for all the other conveyor belts that you may need you the good thing about this setup is that you can have like some of this uh, lift 
looking the other side and just outputting on this side if you're using Mark IV for example you could have one on this side one on this side just by making the half of this look on the other way or make it, maybe you can make like a second level up there all the way down here same with the with the water just like this is like the easiest ways to use Mark V like, but it's only the easiest because it just takes like less footprint and at the same time if you are using Mark III um, you're going to be um, to be able to upgrade this once you unlock um, all the other once once you unlock all the other um, conveyor belts you will be able to upgrade and clean this up um, the the space down here like the five foundations that we have here is more than enough to fit the two pipes that you will need in case that you're transporting everything using the the mark one pipes and, and it's going to be enough space to fit like uh, all the conveyor belts that you need it's just like it's not going to be this clean but well and now let's uh, run the electricity I like to start um, with a little power go up capture this Put this little nipple in the middle In this case, it should be like in the middle of the two, uh, the two outputs. You can use this as a reference. Kind of like in the middle of these two. That way, it's going to be the most hidden. So we go here, here, like this, and then we we'll connect. Back right here, got like this. Okay, and now this section is ready, like this is how I like to um, kind of like do my logistics. So if I need to come check anything down here, I'm going to have an entrance to come the, uh, to the maintenance area or logistics or whatever you want to call it. And so here I can inspect that everything is working okay, uh, but the important thing is that this is accessible, but it's not going to be always visible. So that way we can make some kind of like a, a clean setup. Yep. This one. There. So the thing is like now this is ready. This refinery is ready. So now I just have to... Um, in the next video I will be working on the packaging area that's going to be a big one because I have to make the true levels and set up also like the um, the water things the water pumps and everything so that's going to be a little bit of work then the rest is connecting everything and at least my fuel is going to be ready um, to go and then we can start with the big one of setting all the generators there. that's going to take it little bit of time uh, but I'm still producing a little bit of materials that I need I, uh, especially like the heavy modular frames I don't have a big setup for that one I only have one machine making them so it's okay if the, this takes time because I, I'm still making heavy modular frames for that so let's go back to the board I don't know if I this this right, I have to fit 24 packages here. 
here. I don't know how that's going to work, but I think it's going to be okay. I think I did the math right. Worst case, I have a lot of space here and here. Okay, so we just finished with the package fuel setup. We have all the refineries in place and we have all the logistics in place of have everything connected with electricity with um, so we have electricity we have uh, inputs and outputs so everything is connected just need to make it run and next up it's going to be the pack water setup and unpack water setup unpack fuel setup and the yeah, the respective logistics. I forget to put the pack water logistics, but that's kind of like they go together. And then we can start with the generator setup, all the logistic of taking the fuel back there, and and then we can work in the control room setup. I want to build kind of like an observation deck to be able to. To see everything working yeah that's kind of like the detailing section it's going to be a lot of work but um, thank you so much uh, for uh, for joining in watching the video and if you have any comments uh, just leave them below and that's all and uh, thank you so much